Now here is Hutchinson. Here's Chris. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And the instincts there. Pass to Freedom. Back to ball. A rebound by the Lakers. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, and that one, they just locked it down. The defensive and he really protected the rim. Boy, I tell you what, I think you got to really appreciate the grit. Getting dirty, staying engaged. That's really what defense is all about. Hachimura against DeRozan. Here's Freedom. In the corner, it's Owen. It's the three-point bomb. It must be nice to feel like every shot you put up is going down. Owens, tremendous confidence and belief in himself. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. And I played against those guys, thankfully, it was just twice a year because we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win title. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by. The Beast can't hit. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. This is it to DeRozan. Off the Mark Hill with the three-point shot. And they won five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Here's Reyes. Open in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling. Off to a very good start offensively as a result. And that outstanding drive and finish to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Los Angeles leading by five. Russell passes to Reyes. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Boy, the former second overall pick is really working on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. And so it's Paul with it. He brings it up for Chicago. On the win, DeRozan. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Gets it up to LeBron. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Gets the three point of the fall. LeBron's got five. You know, really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance. I mean, especially in these set. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with spots and make them do things they're not used to, they'll have a very good chance. Let's see if they can execute that strategy, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. The Bulls making a switch here. Atsunabe checked in for Ennis Freedom. Zach Levine comes in for Jamar DeRozan. Burks, he's checked in for Owen. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night. Taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Hurts on the wing. Outside, Levine. Back at six. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Williams and the Beast pulls it down. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. There's a good screen. Here's Reeves. Thank him off the glass. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Burks. Some solid defense here from Reyes. Right wing. And the pass to Reyes. Back 
to Vanderbilt. Here's Pacciani. Those three pointers off the mark. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Almost entirely new group. And his freedom, he's checked in for Watsonabe. Williams comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Alec Burks checked in for Owen. And it's Alex Caruso in for Ball. We've got the Beast, and it's Page, and at the pivot spot, man in the middle. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Outside Williams. Back to Burks. This one for three. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Burks has got his second bucket of the night. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. The three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Hachimura off the screen from Reyes. Right block shot. The play by Hachimura as he finishes it off with the two. You have to push Hachimura out of there if you're the defense. He's a real problem on the interior. Now, here's Burks. Guarded closely. And there's the pass to Caruso. Kick out to Levine. Oh, good on the triple. Los Angeles leading by four. Hachimura the pass to race. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. The beast in the last matchup against the Jazz was Kevin. He ended up with 21 points, and he was in a groove all game long, in both the free throw line and behind the arc. Performances like this are a big reason why they've been so strong to start the season. We'll see if they can keep it up tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really put off his energy. Yeah, catalyst for that, man. It, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. You know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. He feels confident that he can build on that prior success. And so it's Hitchinger who brings up the ball to the Lakers. This is their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. Yeah, and they got the better of this matchup both times they faced off last season. Do they still have their number? Well, the sample size wasn't that big. I mean, two games, not a lot to go on. But there are two teams at the top of the pile in each of their conferences. And because of that, I expect it to be competitive. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production Let's tonight. This again and in the we'll be back half. with you shortly. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? A bunch of tough games in the world, man. And now let's talk about the first half we just watched. A fantastic performance for the Lakers. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. What can you say? The Beast, an impressive effort here today. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Taking a look at the Bulls. DeRozan and Williams are the four. Williams is out there at four. And it's Freedom in at the five down low. And there's a shot to finish it off. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Trying to hit your 
opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball. <laughs> Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. Well, just a few years ago, we saw a lot of teams toying with small ball lineups. But I think you'd agree, unquestionably, big men are back. You know, Kevin, I would agree because simply when you look at it, there are a lot of really high-quality big guys that can do it inside and out. And so going small is a less frequent approach at this point. And it's one that poses a lot of challenges in my mind. Davis setting the pick for Russia. Sinks the three-pointer. This has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Well, you look at D'Angelo Russell. He's got a sweet stroke. The lefty can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace. Under just control. Going with right now. Vanderbilt's checked in for Anthony Davis. And Karis Levert subbed in for Hachimura. And Chicago also making a switch. Watsonabe's checked in. Russell passes to Reyes. Oh, the woman. That one's not going to go. And the Bulls going the other way now. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Kevin, uh, very disruptive. And he has terrific position shots. He can anticipate where the offense is going. Off a hot feed right there, LeBron. All the map. Bulls trail by 13. To watch it, it kicks it to Owen. A three, a rebound by the Lakers. LeBron's got six rebounds now in the game. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get on court here. Pass to Reyes. Terry goes, jamming that one home. The man is MVP been dominant in the post here tonight, Drake. Just going to town on Chef Owens right now. Yeah, I got to see more fight from Chef. He, he can't afford to let MP be so comfortable inside. On the wing, DeRozan gets the bucket. DeRozan's got 10 points. Boy, that looks like a scouting report breakdown there. I mean, the defense has to know where DeRozan wants to do the most work. That's his sweet spot there. James left side. And stolen by Williams. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shot. Take a break. Take a break. That's what I like to see. Stay aggressive. decide to take their first time out here. Fifteen seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Pacciani. Freedom pulls it in. Freedom's got rebound number five here tonight. A wide open look here for Russo. And another miss by Chicago. And so it's Los Angeles. Stacks is always for joining us. Lakers leading by seven. Chance here to get a quick injury report. We've got a chance now to check up on the Curtis Levert injury. David. The guys I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of the Lakers about his status. He informed me that it looks like a strained calf muscle, but he didn't have any further details. Well, this is definitely unlucky, and especially right at the start of the season. The adjustments will be plentiful going forward. Kevin? David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. That report is accurate. He's going to be spending a lot of time in the rehab and on the sideline. And in the training room, guys. I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. Well, go small with the at the four and Davis at the five. D'Angelo Russell out there with the beast and Hachimura in at the three side. That's the Laker five. 
James looking it over. Pass to Reyes. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got three assists tonight. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When the guy is open, he'll get him the ball. And Owens throws it down. Yeah, he's been hooping, but the rest of the team, not so much. Russell passes to Reyes. Tanabe comes in for Ennis Freedom. And it's Williams in for Levine. D'Angelo Russell, the second overall pick in 2015. Yeah, pretty interesting too, Kevin, that the Lakers traded him after just his second season. It was basically a salary dump. It wasn't about talent because he's got plenty of that, but he was young when he came into the league. He had a reset at age 21 and then went on to rebuild his stock in Brooklyn, making an all-star game there. And by doing that, showed everybody that he could start over. Here's LeBron. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for him. He can still score. And a moment I'll quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. They're doing damage from the mid-range. Not sure if that was the game plan or if they're just taking what the defense gives them. But thus far, it's been off. And you know, he's done a fantastic job scoring inside as a result, finding plenty of opportunities to cash in near the hoop. And here's James up bringing up for Los Angeles. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Reyes. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got his fourth assist in this one. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up here. We've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He challenged his players to try to take control here. He said, this is when we want to be efficient. This is when we absolutely have to execute. Let's see if they can get it done, Kevin. Thank you, David. Lakers leading by 13. Outside, Davis. Williams against Vanderbilt. Out to the right wing. Clock at four. James fires from way outside. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, you watch LeBron play, and it's obvious he gets more of joy out of passing to his teammates and setting them up and scoring himself. But tonight, he's feeling it. Ball dishes to DeRozan. High, arcing shot, and Davis sends it back. And he recovers it. It's stolen by Davis. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. James gets the screen from Reyes. LeBron with it. guarded by DeRozan. And that one's good. James. James has got eight points in the quarter. And, you know, this will be a big victory for them. They came out, executed their game plan, and what a huge win for the Lakers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And so they win their first game against the squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for the Beast. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. The shot's good from Vanderbilt. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Shot to stop the run. Ball with a wide open look. And the three off target. 
rare you see him miss such an open look. James finds Vanderbilt. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks to the right side. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And in front of Ellie Jam. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Owens with it. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but we have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Thank you for joining us. That'll do
Los Angeles Clippers. The two-way threats of George and Leonard with the wing pair. Morris and Zubac play together in the front court. And it's Powell in at the point guard position. And for the Lakers, LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Then it's Rui Achimura. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's the Beast in at shooting guard. And to the surprise of some league observers, a number of rookies are already making huge contributions, Greg. It is so much fun to see these young players stepping up, getting thrown right into the fire, and for good reason. When you have two or three stars eating up your salary cap, you need the guys on rookie contracts to perform, and they are. Here's Powell, following the score by the Lakers. This four to shoot. George's shot is off. Russell against Powell. Outside Russell. Here's Reyes. The Clippers grab the miss. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. Well, we'll see how they respond after that weak performance. It should tell us a lot about their character as a team. Now here's Leonard. A valuable part of their offense. Averaging a little more than 16 a game. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Lakers. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Here's James. Against Chicago, he was really on his game. Reyes. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. The Lakers with the ball. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. And that one's good. James. Just zero hesitation from Dan. Trust in his shot. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And the dunk by Leonard. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Russell against Powell. Here's Reyes. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll... You can't do that! Good foul call! First one at the line is good. It's both from the strike. The Clippers trail. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. That one falls. He can do damage from just about anywhere on the floor. When you let George get position inside like that, he's guaranteed to finish. Now here's Russell. He had a 12-point outing in the last game against Chicago. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Clippers have gone three of six from the floor. Pass to George. For three. Can't hit that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Last time they met in Los Angeles where they beat the Clippers. And they win that last game between these teams easily. Hosting a scorching hot field goal percentage. Shots good by Reyes. Man, he's bringing the energy. The efficiency. I love what he's doing offensively. Final call, the Clippers. All the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Boston. Six to shoot, and there's the screen. And it's Page with a rebound. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, well, 
Kareem, Shaq, Kyle Gasol, the late show winning title for both last few, proving that singles doesn't matter in this league. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a high start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Here's Boston. And it's rejected. And it's stolen by Plumley. Down low. A shot by Boston. No good. That's just a bucket play that you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss them. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yes, yeah, staying with it and looking to expand this margin. Cardinals takes like that will certainly help. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Oubre. Oh, no good again that time. The Lakers have got seven of eight in the basket. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. From deep. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. A size of... to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one guys the lakers enjoying a nice lead here zubats he's checked in for plumley Wright comes in for Leonard, and it's George in for Oubre. And a little under two and a half minutes going by here in the second quarter. Peyton against George for three, Powell. And again, no good by the Clippers. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Then there's Alfred Payton. Then it's Rui Achimura, and it's the Beast in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Thanks. Well, the Beast in their last matchup against the Bulls was a man on a mission. He had 31 points, and the defense never found a way to force him out of his rhythm. He was focused, very productive. The team leaned on him all night. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. George passes to Powell. You know, in baseball, Grant, they have a turn. A five-tool player. In the NBA these days, it's similar. You need those well-rounded players to succeed. Ah, I like the baseball reference, but you're spot on, B.A. It's only about bringing versatility to the game. Players that can shoot, pass, dribble, defend, and rebound. And I'll throw it even in there, lead, and play selfless basketball. Those kind of guys that can do it all, that's a recipe for success in the NBA. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. George passes to Powell. The offensive rebound. Zubac shot is off. The Lakers have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Here's Reyes. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more. At Nobody's the line. as tough as you, MP. Well, their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. So for the Clippers, Batum is checked in for Zubats. Boston comes in for Powell. And it's Oubre in for Morris. Here's George. 20 points for him last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And I love what he's been able to do on the glass, securing some extra possessions for his team. Looking to win the run. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got six rebounds here tonight. 
And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. It's James on the wing. To the paint. Here's Reyes. The shot's good on the assist by James. He's got 17. The Clippers really having a tough go here. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's James. He's got 11. This one for three. Knocks it down from distance. James has got eight here in this quarter. Once the last three went in, I looked at LBJ and I was like, yo, I think he's going to play this game. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. And in this game, we have two top performers. Kind of like us, guys. Are you baiting us to guessing which two? There's no guessing about it. I'll leave it to the imagination. And moving on to our current game, it was not the first half that fans... Thanks for tuning in. The second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Here are the Lakers now. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen on the floor for the Clippers. The two-way threats of George and Leonard to the wing pair. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. And it's Powell in at the point. It's good. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous score. But this man also knows how to get cooking. George against Davis. That one a little long. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid range. James outside. Charity strike shot. And the Lakers tack on two more. Just continuing to pile it on. Refusing to let up. If he has space in the mid range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are too big. George's shot is off. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Davis, the pass to Russell. Hachimura with the ball. To the middle. Out to James. Nice move. And that's two points on the layup. James has got four points now in the game. Three shots. And the Clippers making a change here. Plumley's checked in. The Clippers shooting at about 34% here in this game. Pass to Leonard. We're about a minute and a half in the second half. And again, no good by the Clippers. That's not how you want to come out of the break. When you say misses, they need to settle in quick. Russell with the ball. Picked up by Powell. Ooh, nice move as he stepped back and passed it up. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Russell against Powell. Pass to Morris. Leonard outside. George for three. Rebound on the Lakers. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. James outside. Six on the shot clock. He gets it. He's seven for eight. And really going out about out there. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Plumley a screen on Russell. Pass to Leonard. Tries to snap the cold streak. Hachimura with a rebound. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, he needs to find some sort of momentum. And he makes it. <laughs> they're really working the paint now. The Clippers have gotten off to a rough start. Now 0 for 5 in the second. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Leonard passes to George. And it 
again with the Clippers missing. He hasn't even made many points at this point. Man, his team desperately needs him to get better. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Ali. Thanks. The officials... Get him, MP. Your time. That's what you do. Way to go, MP. Kick that up. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Leonard with a screen on Peyton. Morris outside. To the inside. To the right side. Plumley passes to George. And again, no good by the Clippers. His consistency just hasn't yeah, been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. We've got Davis, and it's the Beast in at the shooting guard position. That's the Laker five. Oubre against Payton. Inside. Here's Reyes. He can't hit that time. And George with some nice D. Morris outside. Here's the three. He can't get that one to fall. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Reyes. Paul George pulls it in. George has got four rebounds in the game. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? VA, <laughs> first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. Yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Here's Leonard. The putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, and Leonard has some of the biggest hands in the game, using them to haul in offensive boards. Here's Reeves. Leonard defending. Right wing. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that foul. So for the Clippers, Batum comes in for Gay, and Boston subbed in for Paul George. Here's Reyes. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. 10 of 14 from the field. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. This is what you expect from him, just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. The shot by Boston, no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then... Starting to wear the trackers to measure the wear and tear. Well, look, wear and tear, at the end of the day, players have more things to their access. doesn't matter if you're talking about medical equipment, treatment, uh, doctors, trainers. So there's going to be wear and tear because of professional sports, but more stuff today are, have been instituted to help the players recover faster. And hopefully prolong their careers. If they're good enough. There's a minute 26 left in the final quarter. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Lakers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11.
And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And what a huge performance it was for LeBron James. And his playmaking is what stood out to me. Effortlessly creating for his teammates. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Boston with the bucket. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they shown this kind of fight earlier. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. Outside. There's 21 seconds left in the final quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Batum. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Here's Boston. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Reyes. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one.